Oh, my question is that uh, this senator, this uh, popular senator from uh, Borono, Ali Ndumi, I am sure those who are politically inclined that uh, you know the man called Ndumi. Hmm. The man has been going like this, like this, like this, like this. In one breath, they will come out and you know, make it seem as if they love Nigerians or they are on the side of the people. It's a lie. Recently, um, there's a, a bill that uh, whether it's being passed, I don't know, uh, from these uh, lawmakers saying that uh, all the governors, they said they are going to support uh, this uh, bill of uh, those uh, who are the kidnappers or, or so. What do they call them? I'm just trying to be careful. There are the penalty, you know, you know, by penalty, yes, <laughs> there is a penalty, by penalty, you know, penalty to be deleted for those um, who are, I think, kidnappers. So when this uh, Aline Dume was asked by journalist, uh, one journalist, when he was being interviewed, that's okay, why are you people talking about uh, those, uh, all these uh, bandits and the rest of them that they should have a, uh, this uh, penalty should go for them? Why not corrupt politicians? Because they are worse than these people we are talking about. But you people, the people who are saying that uh, they are going to support, they are all politicians, who, but they are the ones, 99% of them are the ones making this country unbearable. They have taken so many people's uh, lives. They have taken them. They are worse. The numbers of people that have died are more than the ones that uh, these uh, so-called uh, whether doctors, abuse, uh, bandits or kidnappers you want to call them. They are more than the people that have lost their lives because of the actions, inactions, policies of politicians. And they are asking, why can't you, you uh, pass the same bill? Why can't you support the same bill? You know what this Aline Dume said? He said, no, that that's penalty, that by penalty should only go for people who steal uh, billions of naira, but not those who steal trillions of naira. Well, let us get into the details of uh, what this uh, Baba is saying, because as far as I'm concerned, in, in a Baba, he think he's, he's, he think he's wise, 70 year old man. The chief whip of the Senate, Ali Ndume, has said that corruption in Nigeria politics is people driven and should not warrant any serious punishment. Eh? Because according to him, Nigerian politicians steal and share with the people. Ha! Share and borrow and let borrow bye bye. See what he's saying about this, Baba. See what he's saying. You know? It's even what I'm even expecting to hear. It's even <laughs> what I'm hearing is even worse than what I was expecting. He made this statement while explaining the difference between corruption by politicians and other people. Ndume featured on Channel TV Politics today on May 14th to speak on the death penalty as a de deterrent for those caught with drugs. He said the corruption by politicians is a small one when compared to corruption by others. Ha! <laughs> he stated if you compared us politicians to all the corruption, it is very small. The same man who was telling us that, uh, oh, uh, Nigerians are complaining about uh, the amounts of money being paid to politicians, that even if you put all the money together, it's not going to be enough to even solve the problems of Nigeria. So why they, why they cry? The same thing this man is saying, that he don't say that he's corrupt. Now he's telling us that uh, those who steal billions should be punished. Those who steal trillions of Naira, you know, should not be looked at. If you steal, if you go and share it with people, if you don't, you are not coming back for your four years. There is no reason for stealing. Can you imagine? See the way he's contradicting himself. himself. I have been to the National Assembly. I can't say because uh, we are on TV now and now telling the truth. If that death penalty is supposed to be included in corruption, I will support it. But you don't go and kill people, someone that stole one million naira or billions. No, but someone who steals one trillion of government money should be dealt with, should be applied, should be deleted. That is what this Baba they talk. The senator added that uh, he supports a, uh, you know, by punishment for drug dealers. Okay, it is not even the kidnappers, they are uh, people into drugs. He said the death, uh, the pie penalty is the best deterrent for those being caught for drugs. If you do drugs, you are, you are a gunner. In fact, that means you have destroyed the lives of so many people. So the people who are spending, uh, spending, um, stealing uh, millions and billions. So they are not, they are not taking lives of people. The hospitals that say uh, that that were not well built is as a result of corruption and people in the process have gone. You see them. 
that is to tell you that he's highly corrupt this man is highly corrupt recently the senate passed a bill the national drug law enforcement agency acts amendment bill 2024 passed a bill passed by the senate the bill the uh, prescribed uh the death penalty uh for persons found guilty to of trading in hard drugs and narcotics <laughs> Can you imagine? A new book by Indume is titled Classification of Corruption. This tells you how unserious we are as a nation. Now you know serious. It is getting clearer by the day. You see some people come and support them. And they have party. Oh. This is the type of people we have as leaders because he is not doing drugs. Drug dealers should be executed. Why uh, but a corrupt leader should be spared? Even as we are not advocating for drug business, is he not out of conscience for any sane person to suggest that corrupt leaders should be spared in sane countries corrupt leaders are either sentenced to life imprisonment or tomorrow really taken down police should release all the criminals they have not stood up to one trillion ah bio he talked with his two sides of the mouth of course he contradicted himself in that statement can you see his drug that are being it uh what billions are they even what billions so senator Ndume, as intelligent as you claim to be you don't even know that corruption also takes people's uh, life you are who are you trying to deceive stealing is stealing and corruption is corruption if you steal one million naira to five million the same punishment should be mental to them in this u.s corruption in the u.s corruption is punishable by 56 years to life imprisonment regardless of how much you stole First, no bank is the US that will add a cobble for you. Secondly, no mechanism that will help you to see state budget funds. The FBI have would have arrested Belu and every mechanism that aid him to see state budget uh, funds, including the bank manager. Hmm. Hey, you would think that you have seen it all. You are the problem of this nation. How can we have criminals like you and make a headway in the country? No wonder he was telling us that, uh, oh, the cyber security levy, uh, they should stop it, it's happy, but they will still go back. Somebody was saying that uh, these guys, because they know that uh, they are not good, they want to be part of the people that will share that cyber security levy. That is the reason why they condemned it, but they want to go back. For the fact that uh, Tenubu said he suspended it, mean, does not mean that uh, that is the end. Before you know it, they will just start deducting. You will not, they won't tell you again. Look at the people we call it as Nigeria is totally doomed. Save us the poor masses. Imagine, make thunder fire on a as soon as the embezzle from one million. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your say for this.